Hello everybody, it's Josie here. I'm doing a, a kind of a, a smash or trash review on a brand new release, um, pretty brand new release, and that is this gorgeous book. The cover is so beautiful of this book, is The City We Became by N.K. Jemison. And check this out, sorry, that's just me tabbing the book, but look at those glorious pink sprayed edges. The colours on the book is so beautiful. This cover is, sorry, I'm, I'm kind of fangirling pawning over the, the cover of a book, but I, I like nice covers. Um, and I've tried to kind of ish match the cover of this book. Like, does that work? Um, and then also, um, I was very, even the inside jacket, it's so beautiful. I was very lucky to get a copy that is actually signed by N.K. Jemison. So that makes me very happy. So also the front, like just everything about it, it's just a very beautiful book. Um, what this book is about, because <laughs> it's not only how the book looks, is it is a fantasy, um, and it is, I'm gonna be honest, this is really hard to describe, okay? It is one of the strangest sort of premises that I've read in a very long time. Um, and I, I still, I'm, I'm still slightly confused, but I enjoyed the ride. So the idea of this book is that you have New York City, so this is based on New York City. And the idea, the premise is, is that each city gets, gets birthed in a way that a city is almost alive and has representative, a representative for it that almost embodies or personifies the living, breathing heart of a city. And for New York City, because it has all these boroughs, there's five different um, boroughs in New York City and including Staten Island, which that's important, Staten Island becomes very important. Um, and it, these five people kind of embody the living breath of the city, if that makes sense. And in this book, the city is being attacked by an entity, an organism. And these people have to fight for the birth and the life of New York City. I think that's the best way I can articulate it. It's hella interesting. Um, like I said, it's not a concept I've ever come across before. Um, it, it's just wild. I don't really know how to do, like, it, there's a little bit of sort of alien. The bit that I've tabbed there is like when the city is being, so this kind of, the, 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 what's attacking the city kind of goes around infecting people and there's sort of a bit of an alien type theme where someone's got like a tentacle coming out the back of them. Um, but what I've tabbed here is that also in these times at the moment, it's quite topical in a way like um it says it says like a disease infecting kind of in, trying to infect the city um and harm it um and so so actually reading this at the moment and then watching the news and seeing what's going on is is really kind of an interesting juxtaposition um but this is a quite a nice escape because it is this, this sort of this crazy fantasy um setting and and yeah i, I don't know <laughs> I can't really say that much more else about the plot because you just kind of have to read it. Um, but yeah, I, 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 I was, like I said, I was confused in parts. I was like, what is going on? This is strange. But I really enjoyed it. I, I enjoyed the ride. It was interesting. It was so different from, from what I've read before. Um, I'll admit I did start one of N.K. Jemison's other books and I DNF'd it early on because I just didn't understand what was going on. Um, but this, I, I enjoyed, I, I carried on reading. Um, I, I found it fascinating, I found it interesting. What's also great about these book, this book, um, and, and I think about N.K. Jemison in general, is just the discussion on class and race in here as well. Really interesting, and queerness. So it's wonderfully diverse. You have a really diverse cast of characters and uh, people that embody each borough of New York um, in terms of, like I said, both race, uh, sexuality, uh, really interesting, there's trans representation, there's queer lesbian representation, um, there's different minority groups actually that are representing the city, which is fantastic to, to read about. Um, people of colour are the main protagonists. You know, you, you, it's, it's wonderfully diverse and I love that about that book. And even though it's this crazy wild kind of sci-fi book, it has these great sort of undertones without ever, you know, being preaching, preachy or, or shoving things in your face, but they really, it really makes you think. Um, and also, 
the characters that N.K. Jemisin has has chosen, all the people that that they've chosen to represent each borough is really interesting. It's sort of the stereotype of Manny representing Manhattan and all that people perceive Manhattan and people from Manhattan to be versus Staten Island, like I said, it becomes very important, versus, you know, the Bronx versus Brooklyn. Really fascinating. And as somebody who really, um, New York City is, is a place that I would love to see. Uh, I work with, my boss actually works, lives and works in New York City and I, I have colleagues over there and I would love to, when we can fly again, um, possibly go out and kind of even more so now. It's just, it's, it's interesting. It, it's a fascinating read. Um, I think it's a bit of a love letter to New York City as well, in a way. Um, like cool kind of sci-fi crazy I could see this as a film totally see this as a film so kind of if you like Alien um if you like something I can't think of the name of the film but there's one where where basically New York City well I was gonna say almost every film New York City gets destroyed but yeah kind of like crazy creatures running around in New York City but I could totally see this as a film um you know, if you like that kind of um, sci-fi uh, element, but also if you want something that has a bit of a, is it a bit of a deeper discussion um, in it? I I think this is great. Um, and another four star read uh, for me, um, pretty cool. So yeah, it kind of lived up to the gorgeous cover of this book. Um, let me know if you read it, if, or if you, if you have read it, um, and what you think and what your takeaways are from it. Um, and, you know, again, any recommendations? And thank you so much for watching. Uh, again, stay safe, stay well, stay well. And, yeah, I will see you all and speak to you all again very soon. Bye-bye.